everyone. I'm going to use these. They're MDF and I got them from Hunkadori. Um, I think it's hunkadori.com and um, as you can see these silhouettes. So I'm going to use these in a resin. So obviously I don't want them this colour. So I'm going to paint them black just with a normal acrylic. You can't see that. Just a normal acrylic paint. Um, so obviously I'm going to do both sides on the edges and uh, we'll see what they look like when they dry. So this is the mould that I'll be using. You need to make sure it's perfectly clean and I use this level so that you go that way and that way and uh, now I will mix my stuff. This time I should be doing it with a different resin, trying different ones. They're all pretty much the same price. Uh, they're all uh, small bottles really for you know, for nearly £30. But wait, hey, so you've got an A and a B, and um, there's eight fluid ounces in both, so I've got to do 50 50. So I'm going to do 100ml of A and 100ml of B. Now that I've mixed it, you've got to mix it for at least three to five minutes. Uh, make sure that uh, both A and B are stirred and mixed properly. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to use two more little cups now. And I'm going to use a white and a black mica. So I want more of the white than I do of the black. So we'll pour 
Pak Sena. And then we'll pour some in here for the black, which I say I don't need a lot of. So I'll put those aside. I may need a little bit more, I think, of the white. Here we go again. Down to sides. As I do. Okay, so I will get the mica. This is more of a pearl white and it gets blooming everywhere. I just moved that along as you can see in there and it's called flash white. So I've got a little spoon. So I'm not going to put a lot in because it doesn't take a lot. So I'm going to put that in there, maybe just a tiny bit more. Fasten that up and I'll get a clean stick and we'll start to mix that in. Like I say, it's um, eyeballing it really to how um, thick, well no, the density of the colour really. That's beautiful if you can see, look at the shine on that. That's lovely. I mean I've used the resin liquid before, but I think I'll just add a little tiny bit more because with the silhouettes being totally black I don't really want it showing through the back so I think we'll just add a little bit more a little goes a long way with mica Don't breathe it in when you're squeezing the, the thing. Give it a good stir. Try not to get bubbles in it as much as you can. Well, that's absolutely beautiful. with that. Just give it a good stir. Like I said, I've never used these micas before, so I'm not very uh, well up on them. So I'll leave that a minute now. Just watch what you're doing. And with this, I'm just going to put a tiny bit of the black. And the glass, well, I'll say it again, the black. I so, there are the three. The clear and the pearl white. And I'm not sure if that's just plain black. But also, besides that, um, I should be using some gold. Uh, it's not an ink, but it's a pearl one. So I'll be using a bit of that. And I'll be using the hot... Don't knock anything over. I'm going to be blowing with this. And you'll see it as I'm going along anyway. Um, and anything else. So uh, I'll carry on doing that.
so there it is I've blown the bubbles and uh, just done the little fancy bits and then um, when this has gone off for about three or four hours I shall put the um, silhouettes in so I'll be back then oh there she is and it's uh, hard I left it overnight now I shall move this just over a little bit and uh, we shall endeavour oh I know there's one thing I need to do where is it I need to know whether it's still level yep so it needs to be lifted up a little bit on this side so while I sort that out I'll be back blown it and um, we just got a few air bubbles so over the next uh, couple of hours I will keep checking on it to see if there's any bubbles and uh, just going over it with the dryer as you can see there was a quite a lot in there and they do just disappear oh, excuse me so uh, like I say I'll keep my eye on it and uh, I'll be back. So I've uh, only got just a few bubbles there now so this is going to be left to dry overnight again and then I'll be back. Well there she is finished and how unusual is that. Now obviously this has been overnight and uh, we'll see what happens when we peel them off. Nice and clean mold and that's the back with all the uh, marble. So you'd have it out of the way really. You can still see the face through there. Now what I'm going to do, if I've got any shot bits, I'm going to file that down and then I'm going to put a black edge um, all the way around. So I'll come back with the pen. So I've got my pen and uh, what I'm going to do is go around the edge. That's how I'm going to do it. So instead of you watching all, we do this. Uh, I'll do it and then I'll be back. <coughs> so that's my first coat on there now uh, and it will need another one. So I'll wait until that dries, put my second coat on and then I'll be back. So there she is finished. I've done the edge with gold and uh, I did have three bubbles there. <laughs> but I thought well it's going to be a plaque, it's not going to be used for putting cups and stuff on this. I want this, it'll go on a stand, on a, on a like a plaque. So I thought, right, 
combine my nail uh, doobries, bits and bobs, as we have called it, to make something different. Uh, like I say, it's not perfect. I'm still learning, obviously, but uh, I am combining my nail stuff with the resin, which um, I love to do because I like things to be pretty, uh, like I used to do with the nails. And I've bought a lovely uh, mould uh, of a bride and groom, and I can't wait to try that in the resin as well. Um, like I say, you know, something different, not seen it before. Uh, I love the black silhouette um, against uh, a marble background. And uh, I shall carry on, uh, regardless, as they say. Well, I hope you've enjoyed watching me do this and um, I've enjoyed watching it as I've enjoyed doing it and uh, hopefully see you in my next. Bye!